there's not a lot of support from people who don't identify within the LGBTQ plus community. I'm trying to create a safe space and also collaborate with other LGBTQ plus creators who want to get their story out there. So first, maybe like a transition, just engage. So this episode is a little bit about just this family dynamic as a whole. Now, we know that uh, Jazz is number one, the star of the show. Jazz, 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 right? Now, but there are the kids in his family. So it's like we keep on talking about jazz, but uh, what about Sander? What about, you know, the other ones? Uh, Giffen, uh, I think his name is Giffen or whatever. I, you see, I don't even know their names. There's a daughter, you know. But what I will say is the other two kind of just do their thing. And then Sander's just always there. So it's like Sander's competing with jazz for the attention. Gauge people right off the bat. Just be like, I love being shirtless. Then you could jump in, like you jump and we switch. Mm -hmm. But not a day goes by that people do not question my sexuality, ask me if I'm gay, or anything like that. It bothered me a long time ago, but I know who I am. And I really do care about this. All right, sure. So he's doing this whole campaign about shirts off. I mean, this is where our society has gone. You know, this is the cultural influence, right? Is to tell people that they can uh, permanently uh, change themselves and not attain the goal that they claim that they're looking to reach. And then it's going to be fun. And we're going to make TikTok videos. And it's going to be a good time, guys. And let's take our shirts off, ladies and men and men and ladies and whatever. And just, you know, it's, it's, it's chaos. <laughs> it's constructed chaos. It's off. See how the lighting's making the abs look, you know? I was pretty sure that Sander would love hanging out with Noah because Noah has a lot of followers on TikTok and Sander's all about making TikToks. And I just feel like they would connect. I could see them having a little bromance. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. My goodness, this person is sitting here talking to you and they just look so uncomfortable talking. Just, I just want to be clear about that. Secondly, so they would be so cool. You know, we could be really cool friends and stuff because you have a lot of followers on TikTok. Like, is this what our world is about? Like, how many followers you have? Don't get me wrong. If you're trying to network to get your word out there about something that you're doing, yes, you do need to meet people who have a lot of followers. That's networking. But to have friends based on your followers, friends is a whole different word. Ne again, you can meet amazing people online, but what I'm saying is just like, oh, I'm going to make friends with you because you have a lot of followers on TikTok. Okay, no. Actually, I can't see Noah calling anyone, bro. <laughs> I was signed male at birth. I was assigned female at birth. So what you'd want to do is those step to the silo so like people see you. So we're both in equal framing instead of you behind. Does that make sense? Okay. The con He's uncomfortable. Uh, she's, I'm sorry. She's uncomfortable. That's why she, cause she's not standing there like that. <laughs> she's uncomfortable. Concept of the video between Noah and I is that trans men are men and deserve to be treated like any other man. Mm. Even well then. Why don't we take Noah and I don't know, let's play. Noah should play football with all the men and just get tackled and tossed around. Let us, maybe Noah should wrestle, you know, uh, they should be treated completely like men, huh? Okay. What else? They should work like long days, you know, uh, 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 being a uh, trash, you know, um, I don't want to say trash men. I hate that. Like, uh, sanitation services because it's mostly men who do that. Yes, women can do it too, but we know women are not doing it, right? So I, Noah should take a job like that. Or I've seen some of the craziest construction jobs, you know, or why don't Noah produce a baby, right? Produce the, not carry the baby, but produce the seed, you know, the, the fertilization for a baby, right? Let's stop this now, okay? You can't say trans men are men. Now, I usually do it where I'm saying that about women, right? Because I'm a female, we really talk about jazz. I'm kind of glad this is happening. That minimizes a man's place in life. And it's not just construction work and doing sanitation. No, I shouldn't even have started with there. It's teaching young men how to be men. It's like father's wisdom, you know? Protector, a provider, and, and just just the man that you look up to, uh, there's, a man is important. So no, a female cannot just slice her tots off and say, I'm a man just like that man over there. It doesn't work like that.
Even though Noah was assigned female at birth, that does not make him less of a man than me. And that's the point. Yes, it does, Sandra. That he's not a man. It doesn't matter how much. Okay. I. Oh, God. The YouTube is going to give me a problem. It doesn't matter how much cosmetics is done around this. We will not. This notion of everybody can be the same thing all at once. This is very dangerous. I'm almost. I don't want to say blasphemous, but I kind of feel like it is. This is spiritually wrong. Point that we're trying to make in this video. Here we go. I was assigned male at birth. I was assigned female at birth. My pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, him. It's not okay to ask me what's in my pants. It's not okay to ask me what's in my pants. It is okay for me to not wear a shirt. It's okay for me to not wear a shirt. We, we are, are both, both men. men. No, you're not. No, you're not. You, you're you very uncomfortable. Fem J Sandra actually looks comfortable doing this, and plus he's all about this, you know? But she's very uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable. She is. We are both men. Men don't have this. They don't have this big slice. What is this, right? Now I got to wear Band-Aids. Men don't have that, okay? And the eyes are giving me, okay, allegedly, in my opinion, Maybe there's a little anxiety that is going on and kind of have to be medicated for it. I'm always calling out meds. Guys, please don't forget to hit the like button too on this episode. I'm really going off right now. Uh, and please subscribe if you are new to the channel. Now, this is this is to me like, again, it's just, it's blasphemous to me. It's wrong. It is not right to sit here and play around with serious things, okay? You can't ask me what's in my pants. No, I never thought about having to ask people that, but now I see the way we're living I need to ask people things like that when I meet them. I mean, because this is insane. And I'm not going to get caught up like that. <laughs> I'm not. Cool. Do you think we got it? I like it. Okay. Even though Noah and I don't know each other that well, we have similar interests. And this video combines a lot of topics that I have put into videos before, but never when it's coming from someone in the community sharing. What about you, though? I don't know. Like, I don't know I, you know my family. You've met some of my family. But like, what about your family? Well, I'm, I'm close with my mom. What about siblings? I, I have siblings, but when I came out, like most of my family just cut me off. So I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't have anyone to talk to. All I had was the idea of who I wanted to be and who I knew I was inside. I'm really? Of, I was homeless. Wow, so you were homeless, like, like just living on the streets, actually? Yeah. For how long? About a year. Wow. It's not an easy choice to leave your family. It's not an easy choice to give up on everything and you don't know where you're gonna end up. You sharing your So, okay. Sandra's gonna say something about, you know, Noah being a hero. And then we're gonna break this down. Dorian, you being so open and authentic is so, so powerful. You know, it, it literally goes both ways. So like, from y'all sharing your story, it helped me regain connection with my mom and have, you know, a little slice of my family. Like my mom came down from my top surgery and helped me recover. And I never thought in a million years that that would happen. So maybe one of your siblings will see this video and be like, you know what? Well, at this point, it's I've been in this for so long. At this point, I feel like it's their loss. I mean, like if I could start out homeless and end up here. Yeah. I don't think here is a pretty bad place to be. I think yeah. it's so this is not tears of joy, okay? This is like a still total confusion. Um, maybe they're right. Uh, you know, maybe maybe I took it too far. Anybody would be lucky to be a part of my life. Have a hug, bro. Have a <laughs> hug, bro. Well, and you know, this is so, it, it, okay. It is, to me, like a cult. You know, uh, God, man, these words, um, because like, well, we accept you, we affirm you, you can be whatever you want here. That's what it feels like. Now, again, I would say, don't, um, just, I personally think like, don't just cut somebody off, but are we hearing the whole story? Is it because I, this is how it goes. It's like, I'm getting old, was crying. Like, that's crazy. I'll cut her off like that, you know? And then the, the brother and sisters might be like, yeah, because Noah kept stealing my stuff for drugs. Like, I got tired of it. Okay? So, I need to hear the full story. You know, this is a nice, pretty story for the show. But what's the full story? Okay? Because that's not what we're getting here. What we're getting is, they just hated me for my...
my situation and you know now i'm uh, you know i'm better off without them and oh well well over here we love you and you can be one of us one of us say it together one of us you know <laughs> and so it's like it's like oh this rosy beautiful story where noah's the hero and now affirmed by sander and meanwhile noah probably was stealing tvs for drugs all up in the house, stealing people's stuff out their drawers. For I'm just saying, allegedly, in my opinion. So I need the full story. That's all I'm saying. All right, that's it. That's it. Cause I don't, I don't believe every sob story. I don't. A lot of times we make it up in our head. So it is insane as usual. And what did Noah say? Well, because watching your story, now I felt comfortable to talk to my mom. Is that like in the script that they have to say that? Cause I just don't understand. That's how it feels for me. Like it's in the script. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.